Hello and welcome to Movie Night Mondays or Monday Movie Night. Movie Night. I don't know which one is better, but I'll decide on one. Monday Movie Night. Movie Night Monday. Um, it's where I watch a movie and you watch me watching a movie. I don't know if anyone will enjoy that, but we're going to give it a try. There's, there's a cat. There's cat. This is the first episode of making my way through this book of 501 must-see movies. Um, we're going to find out whether they're must-sees or must-not-sees. Um, there are ten categories of movie in here. We have action, adventure, and epic, comedy, drama, horror, musical, romance, science fiction and fantasy, mystery and thriller, war, and western. There's a whole category for war movies. That's gonna be great. That's not gonna depress the hell out of me at all. It'll be fine. How we decide what we're gonna watch each day. This is D6, right? Okay, rolling a D6. D6 minus one. Five minus one is four. Second digit, so 400. Zero. Two. 402. 402. Mystery and thriller, The Thomas Crown Affair. It was made in the U.S. in 1968, directed by Norman Jewison. Cast includes Steve McQueen, Faye Dunaway, Paul Burke, Jack Weston, Biff McGuire. Don't know who any of those are. Academy Awards for Best Music, Original Song by Michael Legrand, Alan Bergman, and Marilyn Bergman. I didn't, this isn't a musical, I thought this was a mystery. We're starting with the most obscure, weird-ass movie I've ever heard of. I'm not gonna read. I'm not gonna read the description. I don't want to know what it's about. Watch the Thomas Crown Affair online. Get rid of all the pop-up ads. There's so many pop-up ads. No, stop. You're being bad. Got it. Of course, this is one of those old movies, so it's got all of the all the credits at the beginning, doesn't it? Oh, there's horses and old mans with cigars. It's all these like squares, and they're all like different neon colors. Color by Deluxe. Right. This was right when color movies started being a thing. Oh, there's a man walking down a hallway, getting closer and closer to us. It's very dramatic. He's wearing a hat. He's wearing a fedora hat with a feather in it. Oh. 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 I definitely thought he was going to be murdered. Oh, he might still be murdered. It's a very bright light shining in his eyes. We can't see the face of the person behind the desk. At least someone would throw an envelope of money at me and tell me to buy a car. What you don't know can't hurt you or me. That's not true at all. What I don't know often hurts me. Da da. Da 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 da. There's a smiling white man on a plane. That's never a good sign. He did it. He bought a car. He's got sunglasses and a hat on. Pocket watch! It's called Pocket Watch. Is this movie going to be full of politics that I don't understand? There's the man that got off the plane. He's wearing a hat, too. Everyone wears hats. Can't be a businessman without a hat. It's just a small square now. Oh, zoom. Zoom. Oh, my God. So many squares. Oh, my God. The casual misogyny of just looking at a lady as she goes by. Oh, my God. Oh, he's got a gun in a newspaper. Oh, it's like an old gangster movie. He's got a gun inside a newspaper. Oh, there's a very, very old man walking with a cane. Oh, he's a blind man! Oh, they're all walking. They're all walking somewhere. They're 
sunglasses and their hats. And this big man's just sitting up in his ivory tower with his coffee and his binoculars, not getting in any danger of his own. That's some good shit. You know what they say, never trust a man with sunglasses and a hat. <laughs> hijacked the elevator. Oh no, now he's hijacked the security guard! The elevator's moving! The elevator's moving! The elevator's moving! Now they have a whole hallway of hostages! What is happening? What are they trying to do? Is that a cart full of money? You did not control the area very well. He's calmly walked, calmly walked out of the building with bags of money, put it in the car. Oh, and the car is driving away. You get that money, you thief. Do it, do it. Oh, now the police are there. Oh, he drove to a graveyard. Oh, he has a different license plate. He threw the money in a trash bin. I hope a homeless man finds the money. Blessed are the pure of heart, says the tombstone. There's a guy from the beginning! There's a guy who was up in an ivory tower. He brought a wreath. Whose grave are you pretending to visit, sir? He has a sinister smile. I don't like it. He took all the money out of the trash can. Where are you? Is this your house? I swear to God, this man lives in like a university or something. Like an old red brick university. What the heck, sir? Oh, now he's laughing. Maniacally. I hope you go to prison. I already don't like you. You're not as clever as you think you are. Sir. With your cigars and your playing chess with yourself. Ooh, roadblocks! They're searching for the car! They're looking for the car! When do you expect to make the arrest? Any hour now. In, in one of the hours to come. Geneva? Jesus, they're searching for fingerprints. No security cameras, no nothing back then. It's just... They have sketch artists. But they're all wearing sunglasses. Witnesses. This is like the John Mulaney bit. If you're not still there when the police arrive, you're fine. <laughs> like, I know that was a lot of money back then. And it's still a lot of money to me. But, like, that was, like, millionaire money back then. <gasps> oh, it's a lady! Someone special we like to bring in. It's a lady! That's nice to see in a 60s movie. Hmm, she's also wearing sunglasses and a hat. Maybe she's also a bad guy. Ah, golf. This is the worst part of the movie, watching old men bet on golf. This is fucking the worst. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. Watching old white men playing golf being like, I'll bet you a thousand dollars that I can hit this in. And then it doesn't go in. He's like, I'll bet you another thousand dollars I can hit it in again. And it still doesn't go in. And they're like, it's just a what else are we going to do on a Sunday? I want to gag them on my cock is what I want to do. Again, the casual misogyny of the 60s. You just called her baby. She's a working professional woman who is equal to you or higher in status. He bought himself a fucking airplane! He bought himself a fucking personal plane. Like a stunt plane. Like he's doing loop-de-loops. I hate this man. I hate this man. And his lady friend's just sitting in her car watching him. In the car, watching him do loop de loops in his airplane. Like, does she have nothing better to do? She's just there. I bet he's like, oh yeah, she's looking at me thinking, oh, my cock's so huge. Because I've got an airplane. Bet she's just thinking about how much she wants to sleep with me. No one cares. No one cares if you have an airplane, dude! Fucking worse. I hate this movie.
I hate this man. I hate. I want him to just go to jail. Go to jail. Horses. 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 I'm playing polo. Do horses like polo? I feel like polo would be very stressful for horses. So many squares. <laughs> Tiny binoculars. How often do horses get hit with sticks? <gasps> what is that video camera? <laughs> what is this movie? Oh, they're at an art auction now. Oh, yes. Two hundred dollars for this piece of art. Ooh, she's grifting him. You have a lady you're going steady with, you jerk. Wait, did he just admit to her? Did she just say, hey, I know that you did it. And he was like, yeah, I know you know. But you have no proof. I know he asked her out to dinner again. He has a bright orange dressing gown. And why does it make him look suave? <laughs> Be a thief for twenty-five thousand dollars. Someone just stole his car. Who took his car? Why do you need a giant globe? good acting. Grab the lady by the right here on the arm and you go, hey, listen to me, lady. The rugman? It's not the rug man, it's the rugman. Ugh, this movie is so slow. That's a really cute dress, though. I want that dress. Wait, what? Why did she go over? I don't understand what's going on in this movie. Very dramatic. It's also the biggest sifter I've ever seen in my life. Ooh, now they're playing chess. As a metaphor for the real-life chess they're playing against each other. Are they gonna sleep together? Is she gonna sleep with him? Just cause he's got money and doesn't emote? He's a pretty chess set though. <sighs> this movie is boring! <sighs> He's not even hot! He's not even hot! He's just got money! He stole money because you're in the 60s! And it's really easy to steal money that doesn't make him smart! No! Stop! Stop! Oh good, now they're dating! No, they're in love! <laughs> Freak out all the birds like an asshole. Ooh, he's shirtless now. What? I can't pet you. I'm busy watching this super boring movie. Is this what all 501 movies are gonna be like? Better not be. Better be better than this. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're gonna kill him! No, okay. He put alcohol on his mouth and then ran him into a tree. He's a bad man. You're a bad man and I hate you! Why do we have another doom buggy scene? Why do we need to see this again? We get it! You ride around on the sand in a doom buggy! It's very exciting and exhilarating! You know you're not supposed to eat the fruit before you buy it, asshole. Do you, do you remember he's a criminal, right? 
Do you remember you're trying to arrest him and put him in jail? Why are you worried about whether he's bringing other people? Other girls? You know he's got other girls! He's not a good man! Come here. You little brat. He doesn't love you! Why did you ever think he loved you? Oh, we have the square back. We haven't seen the square in a while. Oh, really small in the corner. <gasps> They're doing it again? Wait, they did it again? They did the exact same thing! Again! It's not gonna be him. It's not gonna be him. It's not gonna be him! It's not gonna be him. It's not gonna be him! You don't He's on a plane. He's on a fucking plane! Left early. Why did you think he loved you? Why did you think? Why? Why did you think he was gonna stay? <laughs> That's it! That's the end of the movie! I hated that. I hated everything about that. Oh, that was so boring and stupid. Ugh! Oh my god, that was so boring and stupid and I hated it. Ugh, are they all going to be like this? is going to be a very long 501 weeks. How many years is 501 weeks? <laughs> How many years is that? Maybe I should do this twice a week. Maybe twice a week would be good to review. I don't even know how to review that movie. There's a man, and he sets up a bank robbery, and gets super rich from a bank robbery, and then does all of the annoying ass shit that rich people do, like buy a plane, and a dune buggy, and go golfing. And so they get an insurance investigator to come and help the police officer try and catch this guy, but the insurance investigator falls in love with the bad guy and has like an affair with him to try and get close to him, to try and catch him, but he knows that she's trying to catch him the whole time, and she falls in love with him and thinks that he loves her. I don't know why she thinks that, because he obviously doesn't love anything except money and himself. But then they think they're gonna catch him because there's a second bank robbery that he set up, and they caught his car in the in the, in the, the drop-off point where the cash got dumped, and his car pulls in and they're like, yeah, we got him, but that it's not him, it's a guy with a message for her saying, hi, I got on a plane. See ya. See, see ya never. And she's very heartbroken. It's very sad. Yeah, it was super boring. It was super boring and I hated it. <laughs> very annoying. Cause why does she think, why does she think he loved her? Why does she think that? Oh God. Thank you for watching my Monday movie night. That was week one of a The Thomas Crown Affair. Because the character's name was Thomas Crown. And there was an affair. And also an affair. Uh, tune in next week for Monday Night Movie Night where we'll be watching a second movie that we don't know what it is until then. So come join us. This has been a pixie kitten. Nanic Pixie is my name. This has been a Manic Pixie, and you have been watching Manic Pixie's YouTube channel. <laughs> I will come up with something better than that. Mwah.